Case Titanium T16015 pot, 1.8 liter, upgraded. This is the Keith Titanium T16015 titanium pot, and um, I didn't see any videos on YouTube on this. And let me show you what's going on with this unit and what we can actually do with it. Um, one of my biggest things were I steam my vegetables now. And I really want to get away from Mountain House. It's full of salt. And just backpacking food in general is full of carbs. Anybody that's a diabetic like myself cannot eat that food. And even if you're overweight, you shouldn't even be eating Mountain House or any of those backpacking foods. Period. The whole idea of going hiking is to lose weight and get yourself back in shape. But you're not going to do it by eating Mountain House foods or macaronis. I mean, it's got too many carbs in it. So changing your diet and also combined with the exercise is going to help you. Now I have a lot of titanium pots, I have a lot by Tokes, but I had to come up with a whole new system because I'm not just boiling water. I'm doing many different things here and I'm going to show you what I, what I mean. This is how this comes. It comes with its own bag, this uh, T16015 pot, and it's tight. It really is tight, as you're going to see when I get this off. I'm going to have to buy another bag for this. I'm still looking around to get the right bag. And you're probably going to have to do the same thing. Now, they say it's not a double boiler. But to me, it is. And you'll see that when I get it all off here. And you see what I'm talking about. It, it's really tight on here. You know, but it's holding. So, this unit goes inside the pot, okay? Is what it does. And if I pull this off, this is like a frying pan deal, and you can use this as a frying pan, okay? You can use that as a frying pan, as you can see. Now, I've got the um, REI or whatever one it is, tea kettle in here too. I've also got this here in there. Now, this is a Tokes, basically a Tokes cup. And uh, this one here is, and it sticks up a little bit in it, but it still goes together in a nice, neat package. This is the 550 milliliter. I'll have the links in the bottom for you guys. I've got like a hot lips on it, and you noticed the 550 does fit this, okay? It does fit one of these containers. And I also got a titanium, um, I'll take it out and show you. I also got this in there. And this is a um, one on Ole Camp, and this is a titanium little stove, basically. And I like stuff that goes in their little bags because this, this way it's not sitting there, um, it's not sitting there rattling. And that's it there, and it goes apart. Put this up. If I can get it all set up. And that's how that goes. And then um, your canister goes on the bottom, sets your pot on top, and away you go. So I've got this in case I want to have, you know, like a quick tea. I don't drink coffee, but you might. And um, if I'm sitting in my hammock or I'm just too lazy or I pull off the trail and I want to break, I can pull this out and uh, connect my canister, throw my Tokes cup on top of it, and have myself a pretty large uh, cup of tea. And I've got like the hot lips thing on here, so when you put it to your lips, you don't burn yourself because titanium gets really hot. So you got to be extremely careful of that when you put. Now they do make double-sided titanium cups, and I might look at those. I'm not sure yet, but when you get double-insulated titanium, one in the inside, one in the outside. Or even a plastic cup. I mean, you, you can't use it for cooking in a fire. Like this I can use as cooking in a fire because, you know, it's a, it's a single layer. But you get a double layer, then I can't use this anymore. Then I would have to use my teapot, then pour it in. So I'm actually using two items. And I could do that. So these are these REIs or whatever they're called. Let me see. Is there something on here? And I really like these. I've had two or three of these in my life now. GSI. This is a GSI, um, you know, a teapot. 
So this titanium T16015 TI pot will fit a little tea kettle. Now let me say this. They do make a titanium T13905 kettle, a one liter, and it weighs 4.6 ounces. But I did want to show you something with that. So this is the um, you know, GSI one, so let's have a look at this one. Now keep in mind, the, um, the Keith titanium pot weighs 4.6 ounces, where this is 6.3 ounces. So there's like a couple ounces difference. If it means that much, because the Keith titanium kettle, you know, it, um, it does cost around $100. Or these, these here are only like, you know, 20 bucks or whatever. So there's quite a difference in the price. Is two ounces worth that much to you? It isn't to me, but it may to you. So how does this work? Well, the T16015 pot works like this. So you got your pot there, okay? And, you know, you got rubber handles on. They'll probably end up burning off in time, maybe, I'm sure. But... This, which I'm going to use as the steamer, is what goes here. See that? So I've got water in the bottom, and this is what I'm going to use as the steamer. Now, next week I'm going to test this out when it warms up a bit, but I may drill some more holes in here. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure what it's like to drill holes in titanium, so we'll see. Hopefully this throws enough steam that comes up through there. Now I'm going to put my vegetables up here, so I'm going to take cauliflower, um broccoli and when I go backpacking I only go for like you know two three four days vegetables are gonna last that long so I can take fresh vegetables with me and have a great meal put that on a fire and the frying pan itself actually just goes right on top and now you've got a complete unit which is supposed to work in my view like a streamer like a well, supposed to work like a steamer in my view so I think that's really cool. Now there's some size to this. You see I got two hands here. There is a little bit of size to this. So this is gonna hurt this is gonna hold this is gonna hold quite a bit of water in the bottom. So keep that in mind. Even the size of this, and I, I don't have really big hands, but there is some size to this thing. Okay. And I like that. I like and this thing's really deep. Alright? Let me see that. Hey, that's pretty deep right there. And they got the measurements on the website, but Sometimes it's better when you take a look at them, when somebody's actually handling them. You know, like, if you got this tea kettle already, it goes right inside the, uh, right inside the frying pan itself. So, my entire setup and my idea here is I'm trying to figure out how to make a healthy meal when I'm out backpacking. So my healthy meal consists of mostly protein and vegetables. So I could freeze chicken, I could take sausages, I could take steak with me. I also have a titanium grill. I'll have a link to that in the bottom if you want to check that out. So my idea is to have a titanium grill, make a fire, put the titanium grill on the fire between two logs, two rocks, whatever. Put this off to the side. Do not put this on hot fire. I mean, I'm not trying to scorch it to death. I just want to boil water. So put this off to the side with some hot, um, hot coals and then uh, get the water boiling. Put my vegetables here, throw this on here, okay? Now at the same time I've got my tea kettle here, put that on the fire also off to the side. So I've got these two, base this one's boiling water, this one's boiling water. Or, some people are going to say, well, why don't you just boil the water in this and then use this free tea? You can. But you're going to have that broccoli taste or that cauliflower taste. And that's not a big deal. It depends on you if you want to do that. You know. But I want to borrow more than just one cup of water with this. Because I'll drink more than one cup of tea. Sometimes two or three cups. And so this unit here allows me to do all this. Now if I remove this tea kettle and I just use the water from here and use this instead. I'm going to take quite a bit of weight off. But I'm only going for, like I said, three days, four days. I'm not living out there. So let's have a look at this, okay? Let's put all this together for you. Oh, and it does come with this thing. It looks like a cleaning sponge of some type is what it does. So, 
I can put my little stove inside my cup. I can even take like a big lighter and throw it in there. I mean, or I can, I'll put the stove in and I'll put the, the container in, okay? Is what I'll do. Now, I use this, but you don't have to. If you use like a Cuban fiber um, ditty bag around your cup, you'll even take a little bit more weight off of this if you choose. So I've got the propane cylinder in there, and I've got the titanium stove in here, is what I've got. Okay. So first I've got this. What I'm going to do is drop my tea kettle inside of there. Okay? Then this goes inside there. You will notice it actually sticks up a little bit. So it's not going to go all the way in perfectly. But it does work. This I'm going to put on top. This actually goes right over top of that cup. It really does. It just fits right over top of that perfectly nice and snug. And because I've got that orange on there, you know, because of that orange, it actually prevents it from, from rattling a little bit. If I want to stick some things on the side, it probably would prevent even more rattling. So, put these down, then this goes right on top like that. Put these in, because you'll notice when these are out, it kind of sits there like that. Now, push these in, and that's going to almost sit right down in there. Now, I could throw a couple of elastics around that if I wanted to, as you can see. Okay. I might even be able to get a little bit more in there. I'm not really sure. So then what happens is this goes, this thing here, which is the steaming part I'm going to be using, goes into the, the bag itself. And uh, I would put that in first. So, and like I said, i got to get another bag. But I'll do this so you guys can get an idea. So push that all the way down. And then uh, we're going to put this in there. Okay, I had to take that off camera for a bit and mess with that. That took maybe, I don't know, maybe 20, 20 seconds when I could set it on my lap and use both hands. But there it is there, you can see, and it keeps it all in one tight unit. I really don't like the screen mesh. I'm kind of looking for a bag that um, really fits this nice. And when I find one, I'll actually have a link on the bottom for you to check it out. But you got to understand, these are going to get dirty. They're going to get black. They're going to get dirty. And this is going inside my pack. So I really don't like the screen. I want something that... When I put this inside the bag, it maintains everything in there. So that's what I'm kind of doing. And maybe a separate bag for some cleaning supplies, I'm not sure. But let me show you this. So I've got a totes cup, complete steamer, frying pan. Um, it holds the propane cylinder good enough for two or three days. And um, I'm pretty much off and going like I showed you. So I'm going to put this on here. So I'm going to put this on here and take a look at what we got. We got 1.13 pounds. So it's a little bit heavy. Some people would say it's too heavy. It's just a little over a pound. But it depends on how well you want to eat. I want steamed vegetables. I want to eat my steak on a grill. And I want to drink my tea. And I want to kick back and relax. So to me, the weight penalty is worth it. I mean, you can run a couple uh, totes cups that are titanium, drink strictly freeze-dried food, which is totally unhealthy for you, and go that route if you choose. But this is kind of like the lightest system I've been able to come up with with the Key Titanium T16015 with the Key Titanium T16015 pot. Now, when I was looking around, because normally I eat steamed vegetables, that's pretty much my diet every day. But when I was looking around for a double boiler, I couldn't find one. There's nobody that makes one for backpacking at all. Now, maybe after I make this video, somebody will say, hey, we can make that. You know, but nobody does. And this was the closest I could get to it. So if you're looking at the Key Titanium T16015 pot, 1.8 liter upgraded, here's a little video to give you an idea. It does fit the teapot. And uh, it also does fit the key, the key Titanium T13901 kettle, the 1.0 liter. And you will save a couple more ounces. I may buy that later. I'm not sure. Just to play with it and see. The actual grill I'm using 
is an Arcadia grill. And it's also made of titanium and only weighs 5.4 ounces. So if you want, add another 5.4 ounces to that. And what am I getting? Probably one and a half pounds in total for basically, I don't know, a complete cook system is what I'm seeing, you know. Because you think that's 1.1, 1 1.13. 1 so, and then when I add my titanium grill to it, I'm up to probably a pound and a half, 1.15. And I've got a complete cook system to where I can steam my vegetables, drink my tea, and cook my steak and eat it all at the same time. Now, I wanted to throw this in there. I like eating with these because these are titanium knives and forks and these have the shininess on it, so I kind of like that. But you can also pick up these type here, which these will probably go inside the cup. And this is uh, Tokes. So you could probably pick up these here and then you have your utensils also. But I don't like messing with that. I don't really like how all this feels and everything. I tried it. But I do like this better, so there is a little bit of a weight penalty, I guess, with that, too. So if I put that together, you know, so there you go, 1.15. Add my grill, which weighs 5.4 ounces, and you can see what, what I'm getting into. But I'm getting a pretty elaborate cook system with doing all this. Now, you can also, I even seen a picture on one guy who did a review on this, and he had rice cooking in the bottom, and he had fish cooking on top of that plate. So while the rice was cooking, he was steaming his fish, which I thought was pretty cool, too. So you can get cr pretty creative with this set, but you're, you are carrying a little bit of weight with it, and that, that's the thing. So, you know, a little bit more convenience, a little bit more of what you like, you got to carry a little bit more weight. You want to drink out of a cup of water with Strictly Mountain House? Hey, knock yourself out. But it's not, um, not what I want to do anymore. So here's a quick look at the Key Titanium T16015 pot, 1.83 liter. It's upgraded. If you're thinking about buying it, I think it runs about 77 bucks when I bought this. So like I said, links will be in the bottom if it's something that interests you. But um, that's pretty much the route I'm going. Okay, I'll catch you guys on the next one.